Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man, and we're doing a bonus sample soap this week, today. Um, this is going to be an addition to what I do later this week. I'm off this week, and I've been really curious to try a soap with wine instead of water. I did it one time several years ago, knew nothing about it, and it was an epic failure. I thought there might be a volcano. It might react. So fortunately, I put it in the, the wine in a tall container, and fortunately, I had my gloves on, and I dumped the lye into it all at once. It volcanoed up. Thank God I had my gloves on in a tall container. I would have had singed fingers. And to beat it all, I was doing hot process. I knew nothing about it. It smelled horrible where the lye scorched it. And then to make it worse, I cooked it in the crock pot with hot process soap. It was horrible. The soap itself was fantastic, but I could not use it. It smelled so, so bad. It was horrible. Now I've a little more experience, know a little bit more about it. I know what you need to do, first of all, is boil your wine for about five minutes to get at least most of the alcohol, and you need to double it. For instance, this recipe calls for 3.3 ounces of wine. I'm doing a small batch. It calls for 3.3 ounces of wine. Well, knowing a lot of the liquid's going to evaporate, I put 6.7 in. This is what actually I had left, this small amount, what I did not need. Then, I took that 3.3 ounces of wine, froze it, added my lye to it very slowly, very slowly. I've been stirring this for like 15 minutes to get the lye to warm up just enough to melt the frozen wine and make dead certain I have no lye crystals in here and I'm 100%, 110% sure I have no lye crystals in here. I'm very confident this is safe. So, what I'm going to do is a column, excuse me, a, 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 a funnel pour using my round silicone mold. I'm going to go, when I add this in here, it's going to really turn it a brown, so I'm going to try to combat that some with titanium dioxide. I'm going to go ahead and put teaspoon of titanium dioxide directly into this oil and stick blend it in just to save a little bit of stick but that's going to help me less than a little bit what I'm going to have to do. So put the stick blender bill right on top of that, burp it best I can and get that in there. Watch that turn nice and white. Now keep in mind this is just the oil and the titanium dioxide. There's no lie in this. Quite a good bit of air bubbles because it's such a small batch and my stick blender head's not completely submerged. All right, now that's a start. All right, now what I'm going to do is go ahead, I guess I should have left that on there. Go ahead, put my lye wine mixture into this, and get a light emulsification. Get into two containers, and one container is going to have more titanium dioxide, and the other has a mixture of a half teaspoon of Merlot Sparkle, Merlot Sparkle and a half teaspoon of Ultramarine Violet. And that's going to be, hopefully, the side that creates the red, like the wine. I'm also going to scent it with a sample that I got. I only have enough to do one. One of the colors, that is. And this is spiced red tea from Brambleberry. It's a free sample I got with the order. This supposedly darkens to a light tan, so I don't want to put it in the white side anyway. I'm going to put it in the red side. It's pretty strong, so I think it's enough. I think just scenting the red is going to be enough. So anyway, here we go. Let's get this mixed up. Split up, and we'll see what happens. Blend this. See the color changing already? I 
thought this container was small enough to contain this, and apparently it's not. It's a little too big still, but that's the trace that I'm looking for. Then I will probably do just a little bit more. So let's split this into half, roughly half. Now, I'm going to put in one side more titanium dioxide to lighten it up. And I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the stick blender just a little bit. Although it's thickening up already because of the sugars. Careful. That's probably all I dare do, but that mixed it in well. And this side, I'm going to put my colorant in a little at a time and see what it looks like as I am experimenting. Okay, so it's going to take more than that. All right, there's that wine color I was looking for. Nice. nice and tan. I'm going to leave that one unscented. Okay, this one is going to have the scent oil. Go ahead and pour. I have my column mold ready. I'm using the round one, the silicone round one. Uh, I love this one to get around. I do have these clips on it because it will have a tendency to split apart. It's not supposed to, but it does. All right, I'm going to just go ahead. You really can't see this, and I'm sorry. Just one color for a couple of seconds. One, two. The next one, a couple seconds. One, two. Repeat with the tan. One, two. Pouring it high so it pierces through the wine color. One, two. The tan. One, two. Tap it down a little bit. colored. Let me break it up just a little bit. It is thickening a little bit on because of the sugars in here. The sugars will help accelerate this. One, two. The tan. One, two. The wine. One, two. The tan. One. And that's all I'm going to get out of here. I am going to go ahead and just put the rest of this on the top. And I'll get you in the picture here in just a minute. And get the wine color in there. Right on the top. This one has already turned out like 110% better than the last one I made. Tap this down. Now here's what we have inside the mold here. 
Probably not a whole lot to look at right now. Of course, a lot of it's stuck to the side. But I think it's going to make a nice looking collar when I get this done. So I'm going to go ahead and shut us down for now. This will hopefully be ready in a few days. This is super fatted more heavily because I'm using a simple recipe which does have 50% coconut oil. So it's a little bit um, heavier coconut usage than you should. So I put... Um, I put 8% um, super fat when I chose the recipe plus an extra tablespoon to mix the colors. So anyway, I will see you probably a few days from now for the cutting. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you later again this week for my regular batch. Bye.